Good afternoon, dear nomads. This is Sergey Kromchenko, still preaching about a QA live from all over the world. And today we are in Mexico City, from which we're going to talk about a resume. Specifically, uh, point number one, we're going to discuss what do employers look for in your resume. Number two, what format should you use in order to get the most offers? And number three, and finally, we're going to discuss how to create a unique resume that will differentiate you from thousands of others. Big fat thumb up, let's go! Number one, what do employers look for in your resume? In order to find that out, let's, let's take a look at how does the hiring process go. So usually you would apply for a job, then a recruiter would take your resume and a bunch of other resumes and just go through them and sort them out and find out which ones do does the recruiter want to call or and which ones do they not. So how do they separate those resumes? That's the key point because they're looking for the keywords. So the hiring recruiter goes through hundreds of them, if not thousands, and literally checks for the keywords. For example, API testing or Axios or UI automation with a WebDriver IO or UI automation with a Cypress and etc etc etc. So that's the main point. They're looking for the keywords. The more keywords you have, the better chances you have to get a call from the same recruiter. But it's not the best practice to put all of the keywords in the world uh, into your resume because I remember I did have a guy uh, that had a resume with a Python, with a JavaScript, Java and .NET and I was like, hmm, so you know all of those languages, right? And the guy was like, uh, I mean, I've learned them in the past, but I'm not very confident in them now. And then I was like, well, why did you even include them in your resume? So don't put too much stuff. I mean, if you put something into your resume, if you put some of the new keywords that you did not have before, please learn about it. Please make sure that you will be able to talk about them during the call with the recruiter. Otherwise, you might be a fake news. Point number two, what format will get you the most offers? Honestly, it's very simple. Uh, there are hundreds or thousands of companies all over the US that are looking for engineers, right? And all of them will have different hiring recruiters and different hiring recruiters will be working with the different engineering managers. And each one of them will have a different preference on a format. So the best idea is just to find a format that you like. It's not about them, it's about what you like and what, the, what would describe you in the best way. If you like it with the image on the top, put an image on the top. If you like it with a side column where you can put your summary and the skills that you have, put, move, your, move your skills there. But one point to know that most of the companies in the US literally do not care about your education. Exactly. Uh, you know, you probably went to college and your university and you have a higher degree and that's awesome. There might be a couple of percent of the companies in the US who will look into it. But mostly they're looking for experience. They don't really care about, uh, about certifications. They don't care about your papers. They, ca they care about a knowledge. In the same way as Elon Musk said that, I don't care where did you come from or how old are you. If you know how to code, I'll hire you. That's the main point. So please work on your skills much more than you work on your certifications. Finally, and point number three, how do we create a unique resume that will differentiate you from thousands of others? Well, we have to split it into three different parts. So number one, uh, format, as we just talked about it before. Please navigate to any of the Resume Builder website and use any of the cool templates that you like. This will differentiate you from others. You will not be the same as others, people who are probably using Word or RTF format or same PDF, a white PDF page with just a blank with text on it. Be different, be unique, make sure you use some cool template that you like. Number two, make sure to add a unique touch to it. By unique touch, I mean add your personality. You know, add your hobbies or interests. What do you like to do? Don't make it the main priority there, but just put a small note there. Make people smile, make people think about, uh, about their life and pro possibly, uh, possibly connect you with them somehow. We're all people, we're not machines that simply create resume, apply for a job, get a job, work from nine to five. We are people who work with other people and we wanna work, we wanna work with the smart people, with intelligent people, with the funny people that'll make us laugh. So don't forget about that and add your personal touch. Could be in the form of joke, I'm not telling you to do so, but 
you could. <laughs> and point number three, don't fake it until you make it. As I previously mentioned, guys, please, if you add any topics to your resume, please, please, please make sure you learn it. Don't fake it until you make it. Learn it if you want to earn it. That's the only way, because otherwise it's as easy as that to catch you if you put something that you do not know on your resume. And you, what you also can do, you can simply navigate to LinkedIn, look for QA engineers or developers, no matter who you are, who you're looking for, what kind of job you're looking for, and go through them, go through three, five, 10, 100 people and see what points, what bullet points do they include in their LinkedIn profile. And if you like it, if you, if you think it's smart, but you couldn't phrase it in such a way, simply copy paste, add it, and if you do it with the 10, with the 5, 10, 100 people, then your resume will be unique. Your LinkedIn profile will be unique because you took little pieces from all over the places. And as my dad says, all the new things in this world are, are old and already forgotten. So simply grab from different places and gather it into your good looking, unique resume. Now you know how to rock this IT market. And if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to just Leave a comment below and I'll be more than glad to answer a question as soon as possible. Usually it takes literally hours. Anyways, also don't forget to subscribe to our Instagram and Telegram channels, link to which I have left right below. And once again, big fat thumb up, subscribe to our channel and I'll see you next time.